Montana, often referred to as Big Sky Country, is a vast and untamed wilderness that beckons nature enthusiasts and adventure seekers alike. Its landscapes are a testament to the raw, unspoiled beauty of the American West. From majestic mountains and pristine lakes to sprawling prairies and dense forests, Montana offers a breathtaking array of natural wonders waiting to be explored. In this guide, we'll embark on a journey through some of the best parks and natural attractions in Montana. Discovering the awe-inspiring wonders that make Montana a paradise for those who crave the great outdoors. Flathead Lake, Polson. Flathead Lake, which was created by glaciers, is the largest freshwater lake west of the Mississippi River. You can even enroll in a sailing lesson to get out on the water, and the lake is absolutely gorgeous. This is a fantastic location for hiking or riding horses to take in the scenery. Additionally, Wild Horse Island State Park is nearby and provides a rustic setting for day trips all year long. Staying the night in a Flathead Lake vacation rental is among the best ways to take in this natural wonder. Grizzly and Wolf Discovery Center, West Yellowstone. In Montana, bears are an integral part of the landscape and there is still room for these majestic animals to live in safety. The Grizzly and Wolf Discovery Center in West Yellowstone is a popular destination for nature enthusiasts. This facility was established as a sanctuary for wild animals that had either become orphaned or had grown too accustomed to living with and depending on humans. Yellowstone National Park is primarily in Wyoming, but it also has some sections and entrances in Montana. To familiarize yourself with this vast natural area, visit the excellent gift shop and museum at the West Yellowstone entrance. Giant Springs State Park, Great Falls. Great Falls, which is in central Montana, is a popular rest stop for travelers traveling across the state. However, you should also visit this location on your own because it's fantastic, especially if you go to Giant Springs State Park. The Lewis and Clark expedition first came across this picturesque and historic region, which has large freshwater springs. Every year, about 500,000 people come to this park to take in its history, see the fish hatchery, hike along the river's edge trail, and take in the panoramic view of Rainbow Falls. You can walk along the path that these explorers took while traveling because the Lewis and Clark National Historic Trail Interpretative Center is located in Great Falls as well. Pictograph Cave State Park, near Billings. Native Montanans produced pictographs that depict the lives of those who once called this region home. Over 100 clearly visible images of animals, warriors, and other representations that are more than 2,000 years old can be found at the Pictograph Cave State Park. The park has a nice loop trail that you can hike to see the three main caves. Gates of the Mountains, Helena. Gates of the Mountains is located roughly halfway between Glacier and Yellowstone National Parks, 20 miles north of Helena. A boat cruise to see this stunning area of the country from the water is the most enjoyable thing to do here. Two hours is the average length of time for popular boat tours, or you can go on a dinner cruise to mark a special occasion. May through September is prime boating season. In general, Montana adventures frequently begin in Helena. You can also visit the hand-carved Great Northern Carousel and the Montana State Capitol while you're in the area. Bannack State Park, Dillon. Bannack State Park in Dillon is one of Montana's most intriguing state parks to explore. The story of Montana's first significant gold discovery is told here, making it a fantastic location to learn about the Old West and see history come to life. This well-maintained ghost town provides a variety of activities, including camping, wildlife viewing, birdwatching, fishing, and cycling. Over 60 buildings can be found in Bannack, which was first established in 1862. There are also tours, ice skating, gold panning, and ghost walks to enjoy here. Avalanche Lake, West Glacier. Avalanche Lake is one of Montana's most well-known lakes, and you can visit it by hiking along a fantastic trail. The trail of the Cedars Trailhead is where the 4.6-mile-long Avalanche Lake Trail begins. The half-day hike is moderately challenging and includes steep cliffs, several waterfalls, and wooded areas. Glacier National Park, near Kalispell. Glacier National Park is one of the most breathtaking places on Earth. Come here to experience vast, open spaces and breathtaking scenery in all directions. The park, which shares a border with Canada, is a wonderful location to see native plants thriving. A hiker won't get bored on this trip because there are hundreds of miles of hiking trails nearby. There are numerous lakes and 400-foot waterfalls in this area. Within the national park, 
horseback riding, mountain biking, boating, and fishing are other well-liked pastimes. In Glacier National Park, snowshoeing and cross-country skiing in deep powder snow are relaxing winter activities. Lewis and Clark Cavern State Park, Three Forks The Lewis and Clark Cavern State Park, the first state park established in Montana, is another fantastic destination. The park has some really impressive limestone caverns with stalactites and stalagmites, and it is close to the town of Three Forks. To find out more about the cavern's formation and significance to the region, you can go on a guided tour. The typical cavern tour is about 2 miles long, moderately challenging, and takes about 2 hours. There are additionally additional tour choices. Yellowstone River, near Billings. The lower 48 states' last remaining free-flowing river is thought to be the Yellowstone River. It travels 670 miles from Lake Yellowstone to the Missouri River in North Dakota. Fishermen who want to catch large trout should go to this location.